it will make your life easier somehow. It can be more fun um, because you can do funny things with the Internet of Things. Um, I mean, artificial intelligence. It's so, it, so, they're so completely different because artificial intelligence will have a great impact on the way uh, we do our jobs in the future. It will also have a great impact on the way we live. Uh, for instance, uh, many societies, West, Western uh, societies, have the problem of people growing older, uh, but there's not enough money to, to for the healthcare to make sure that there's somebody you know to help them uh, at home with cooking and stuff like that. And so we will have robots in the future who will, will do this work uh, for them, which in one hand would be very convenient because you don't have to rely on somebody else to come around. On the other hand, it's also something to question because you will not have human contact anymore. You could probably have a life without having human contact. And come to think of it, I mean, you're young, you're a very young person. Just, I'm just picking up one subject now, right? So, I don't know, one of you used the app Tinder, well, any dating apps you probably do. So at your age, it's very uh, easy to use dating apps and you can, your life is, you know, full and new and everything. Now, by the time you get my age and you're single, like I am, you start using those dating apps, you get some pretty weird guys over there. Um, or pretty ugly. I mean, let's be honest, it was one, either one of both. So uh, here I am, a single woman, um, uh, more than average intelligence. Um, you know, doing my own thing, but I want somebody to talk to in the evening. And all these guys are either, you know, they already taken or gay. So it's the same problem you probably will have at your age. But then again, what's left over, you don't really want to engage with. So here comes my new boyfriend. He's a robot. He understands me exactly. He knows what I need. I come home at night. He can read everything, what I feel, what I, he senses me, right? And he learns it. He, he, he starts learning me. So I, what do I prefer? This guy who when I come home and then maybe starts nagging because I was here late or I didn't uh, have dinner with him when he wanted me to or the robot who will always understand me always be happy with me and you know just fits into my schedule which is very tight so this is a way it will influence your life and I don't I, I cannot say this is the, the one thing is better or the other thing is better because as a person you also grow when you have conflicts, right? So if I would have like a real relationship, not a robot, but a real person, uh, he would uh, criticize me, hopefully in a nice way, and we would have a lot, a lot of discussion. But in the end, I, we will grow out of that. As a person, I will learn that maybe it's not very polite just to skip dinner and, and call him up like five minutes before. But you know, you should think of this before before you do that. So. There are very downsides and upsides to it. It's, it's not something that we can give an answer to, but I think it's going so enormously fast that it might uh, really affect our lives in a way that in 10 or 20 years time already we'll say, whoa, 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 what happened here? Um, then if I go to child sexual abuse, that's something I really worry about because the Internet of Things is also the Internet of Toys. So the children, we don't, we have no idea how many children are being abused in our world, but there are many, many more that we can think of. I see the growth of the material, we see enormous growth of child sexual abuse material on the internet. And I'm talking about only in my country, and the Dutch unfortunately are the third in the world, but we had uh, viewed over 60,000 uh, of images and videos last year. We already, up until September, had a rise, a rise of that 25%. It's huge, it's enormous. Now imagine you're a three, four year old and your Barbie talks to you and the Barbie tells you to take off your clothes and do things to your body. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I mean, it's so easy to lure a child with toys into that game and we all think it's not going to happen. But that's what we thought when we started sexting. We all thought that the boyfriend would keep that picture to himself. We had no idea of sextortion. We had no idea of all these things that were coming around with the new technologies. So I'm kind of worried because we don't talk about this, this problem. It's a taboo. Uh, so we don't address the, the problem. And we just invent and develop all these kind of new cool gadgets and toys without really thinking the consequences of it. So I don't want to say we shouldn't invent them, we shouldn't develop them, but we sh should really start thinking not only of the cool side of it, but the downside of it, so we can prevent the downside from happening, or at least warn people from the downside.